What's up, guys? This is the Violent Casting. We are back. Sorry for a very slow week on my end. I'm very sorry about that. A um, lot of stuff. Very busy. A lot of things happen. Um, with that being said, this is the Vinyl Casket, home to lamest tastes. My name is Nick, your host. You can check out my YouTube channel at the Vinyl Casket, all one word. Or you can subscribe, like, and comment for much, much more. Hit the bell and remember. Every week we do comic books. No matter what, there will be a comic book review of what I pick up and what I read. I will never let you down. You can also check out my channel for trailer reactions and TV movie show reviews. I'm a little behind on the series that I have been reviewing. Uh, I have a bunch of trailers that are up there right now. Um, but we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing pretty good. Um, if you don't see me for a little bit, uh, this could be the reason. Um... But yes, uh, if you don't know, this is how we do it. Every Wednesday, we pick up the books. We read the books. We bag and board the books. Then we take pictures for the Instagram at Vinyl Cask Comics. Then I sit down with you guys and I talk about them. Um, we haven't done it in a while, but normally, me, Manny Reads Comics on Instagram and YouTube, and Carlos, uh, Omni City Comics, uh, we usually discuss... Over video, record it, our top three of the week, uh, and then we put it on Manny's YouTube channel every Tuesday. Haven't done that in a couple weeks. We've been very busy. It's towards the end of the year. It's getting to that busy time, so I'm sorry about that. But we go Indies, Marvel, DC. Let's get it going. We're doing it right now. We're going to start off with um, an issue from Ablaze, an indie publisher. Uh, this is issue three of Elves. Um, really, really enjoyed this series. Uh, it's not over, but I'm really enjoying the series. Sorry, I said it like that. Um, it's good. It's a really fun, heartwarming, like, teen drama about, like, someone with multiple personality disorder, but, like, how that is visually displayed in this, like, weird fight, and we find out a lot of drama, like, how her mother isn't her real mother and she's got a birth mother and the guy that's been falling around taking pictures is a private investigator and very interesting turn of events. I'm really enjoying the artwork in here. I'm really enjoying the, the story, the coloring, everything about this issue I and mean, the series is really good. Uh, we rate them out of 10, one through 10. I'm going to give this an eight out of uh, seven and a half out of 10, seven and a half out of 10. Moving to image comics with issue five of dual power bomb. Um, well, the art, and the story here are great, and I've been loving this series. It's an amazing series, a series all about wrestling. It's really cool. Um, I don't know what it was from the last issue to this issue, but it felt like I completely missed stuff. Like, I completely missed, like, we're in the finals. I don't remember us getting to that point. There's this big fight, like, this argument between these two different parties, uh, our main characters and these other guys, and... Um, now, so now we get some crazy special rules match and we get the backstory in them and our heroes don't win. And now the two guys that are left, the tag team, are fighting for the wish. Very interesting. I enjoyed the fight. Incredible. I wish there was more books with like wrestling fights like this. This is really cool. Uh, we're going to give it a seven and a half out of ten. I think that's going to be the standard this week. Uh, Dark Horse Comics issue 2 Masquerade written by Kevin Smith This is co-published by Secret Stash Press uh, Which is a new Label mate I guess for Dark Horse Through Kevin Smith um, Amazing So this has been a Really really Good Two issues <laughs> um, Yeah standard price Standard size of the issue, maybe a little bit thicker than normal. Um, yeah, I think this is my favorite issue this week. It's just been, it was just so interesting because we fully don't know still what's going on. If the girl that we're following half the time is the same girl as wearing the suit, I think it is. Uh, traumatic, you uh, child actress abused by adults, taking revenge, revenge on adults and these people that experimented on her. I think, um, I really like the whole reality catching, you know, weirdos thing and pushing that to its limits. And this is a really interesting book, a really interesting book. It's a 
easy nine out of ten in my opinion. Uh, moving on to that was Dark Horse. This is um, AWA Upshot. This is issue two of four. This is erratic, recharged. Um, I love, love, love this, dude. This is awesome. Art in here is awesome. Fight, the f the fight was cool. Um, the new character from like another world, her introduction into like mainstream society is really interesting. The reintroduction of his dad, um, his brother, all these different characters are very well personified, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, and I can't wait to see where they go with this. Uh, eight and a half out of ten. Uh, a really cool uh, one shot from Archie Horror, which we don't see that often, at least I haven't, is um, The Chilling Adventures of Salem. One issue, one shot. Uh, incredible. Very gritty artwork. Really interesting. Very humorous story. I liked it. I liked. I just liked it. I liked the personification of, of Salem. It felt like the Salem from the original TV show mixed with some new stuff. I'm enjoying it. Um, I enjoyed it. Really cool. 8 out of 10. Um, favorite. So now we move on to Marvel. Favorite cover this week. This is issue 7 variant B cover of Ghost Rider. Um, awesome cover. And right as I thought that this series is going to lose me that i wasn't going to be interested anymore in this series because the whole wolverine thing and the big race wasn't really my style this issue kind of rolled me back in um i know that we had been seeing advertisements for the new character exhaust or whatever and i was very concerned how they were going to introduce him I like the way how it's Ghost Rider Shadow and how uh, um, I always forget his name. Um, Ghost Rider is like main villain. Um, how he like can't take over the, the, the throne of hell because of the certain things, but he tricked Johnny Blaze out of it, but he was able to get like the shadow of Ghost Rider and he's trying to take over hell still. And then Ghost Rider is now aligning with this weird spooky lady who is an FBI agent that has powers somehow um really enjoying it I actually really enjoyed it um it's cool how exhaust was created by like the shadow being cut out of uh Johnny Blaze by Wolverine um 8 out of 10 uh 7 and a half we'll go over the standard this week 7 and a half we want to issue 4 of Ghost Rider of Ghost Rider of Daredevil uh, very mad I had to get this cover. They didn't have any A covers, and the other cover they gave me was even was wasn't it was a Luke Cage cover. I didn't want a Luke Cage cover. I wanted a Daredevil cover for Daredevil. Um, Luke Cage wasn't even in this issue. There's no reason to have him on the cover for this issue. Two issues ago, issue ago, yes, sure. This is not a Luke Cage issue. Sorry. Um, Really cool issue. Seeing the Daredevils together, getting the King and Queen stuff, seeing all the guys move into this giant, like, weird island. And, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this whole setup and where they're leading to and how they're, they're kind of as King and Queen pronounced man and wife. And that was really interesting. Uh, super solid issue, I think. Um, eight out of ten. Super solid issue. Uh, Issue 11 of The Amazing Spider-Man. This is how we end Marvel. Uh, solid cover. This is the variant cover, right? Yes. Solid B cover. Really enjoyed it. Really liking where they're going. I'm enjoying Amazing Spider-Man again. I This creative team, the art style, everything's kind of like just okay with me. Like I'm having no issues, no complaints. Um, we see the Golden, Go the Golden Goblin suit. That's really interesting. The reintroduction of Hobgoblin. We're not sure exactly who it is. But we have ideas. Um, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. It's a really fun issue. Uh, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Uh, and then we move on to DC with three books. We got issue two of Batman vs. Robin. This is the cardstock cover variant. I like this cover. Um, really disappointed with issue one. Did not like issue one. It was very lost, very confused. Didn't enjoy it. It was very like shock value, but like didn't hit its mark. This issue really clarifies everything, really makes everything make more sense, and really sense, sets the sense of urgency in Batman. Um, 
at the end we get a hint of what's going on with Alfred's reintroduction and we get to see um uh, Damien take on a Batman suit which is really cool um and then the Robins are also turning against him very interesting right um very interesting I am kind of in I can't wait to see where they go with this uh this is the better issue I'm gonna give it a six and a half on the on the verge of a seven I'm very interested to see where they go with that. Uh, we move on to issue 11 of Batgirls, a consistently really good series. Um, oh, okay. I thought it featured part of Gotham Academy, like a like a. I thought it was gonna feature like a preview, but it doesn't. And I was like, wait, why is this on the cover? It's the artist, right? Oh, featuring maps. And, so it's two characters from okay. So the guy, so the guy that uh, spoiler he went on a date with is Kyle, and Maps is hanging out with uh, Orphan. That's cool. Uh, I didn't understand that. I don't know if I'm gonna get Gotham Academy, but or wait, that's the new series coming out, Gotham Academy, or it's an old series. I don't remember, but. Uh, cool characters, very heartwarming story. I liked it. Um, yeah, it was just a really solid story, and it leads in. And now Riddler is the big villain that's been going around. Um, yeah, solid. It's been consistent. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing amazing. Like story wise, plot wise, I think it was pretty good. But like nothing really like killed me as a whole issue. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight, eh, seven and a half. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Uh, and then finally, we have issue one of Batman Incorporated. Um, I love this. I love this issue. I had fun with this issue. Where did I put it on my list? Yeah. So it made my number three on my list. Um, with it being Masquerade, Erratic, and Batman Incorporated as my top three. Uh, I really enjoyed this first issue. Uh, I know we've got we've seen them in backup issues, backup stories in Batman issues. We've seen them in Urban Legends. Uh, we saw like a one shot or annual, a Batman annual featuring this these these guys explaining his origin story or how he joins the team. I'm really, I'm liking this. I'm liking how how the dynamic goes. How there's like people set in different countries, and then there's an international team, and then then people can get moved up and down and left and right to to accommodate the missions. Um, I'm loving Ghost Ghostmaker. I'm really enjoying Cloud Hunter. I like all these guys, uh, except for the L L whatever his name, Goncho or whatever his name is. I don't like him. His attitude really pisses me off. Like, you're not the leader. Stop acting like you should be the leader. Um, but yeah, everything else about this really solid. I know we're getting a new character of, uh, in the next issue, it looks like. Basically, the story is there's some guy hunting down all the people that Ghostmaker and Batman got trained by. And they're showing that they were also trained by using the skills against those people. So there's someone with the same abilities as Batman and ghostmaker going around causing an issue and that's really interesting because he doesn't want to concern batman because batman's busy but like you know batman will freak out batman has his own stuff dealing with this is batman incorporated's job it's this crew this job this company's job to get these problems out of the out of the out of the way really solid issue eight out of ten um very good week uh, we have some cool books coming out next week that I'm excited about. Normally, I would talk about what I'm excited about on uh, the weekly roundup, but we're probably not doing that. Uh, hopefully, next week we're back. Uh, we'll load this up. Uh, Alien issue two, Predator issue three, Nightwing, Midnight Suns issue two. Um, yeah, solid. It, this is a good week. It's got Flash, Catwoman, Moon Knight. Public Domain by Chip Zdarsky. Not looking forward to Deceased. And World's Finest is like an if for me. Like, it's good, but like, who knows? Um, very excited about these books. Very excited about these books. Thank you guys for checking me out. You can check out my YouTube channel at The Vinyl Casket. 
uh, all one word where you could subscribe, like, and comment, hit the bell. Remember, do me a massive favor and stay lame.